come to your show and he took you just for this. It had to be something else. Like, and it'll be about the work that you've done right. over the years. But, but, right. okay. Does that make more sense? That makes sense. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What up, everybody? It's your man, Player T. That's me, Hollywood in the hood. Doing it really big at Chicago's home of chicken and waffles. I'm right here with State Senator Kenny Yuko and supporter Mr. Billy Sharp. He's running for Ohio House of State Re Representatives for District 10. Now, you know, Mr. Yuko, what have you come to know about Billy Sharp's campaign that's given you intrigue and promise? Well, here's what it's all about. When I first met Billy Sharp three years ago, I met him in Cleveland Ward 1. He's a community activist. He actually cares. He actually has concern. He actually has compassion for those who are, are doing without. He understands that no one should have to live like that. Everyone should be able to work and have enough money to go home and, and pay your bills. Everybody should have the right to health care. It's not shouldn't be determined by what zip code you live in. It should be affordable to everybody. Okay? Everyone should have the ability to retire one day in dignity, not not in poverty. There's a big difference. Nobody should have to suffer discrimination for any reason whatsoever. And everyone should have a safe work environment when they go to work every single morning, that they go home to their families and loved ones at the end of the day. You know, these are things I fought for for 25 years as a union organizer with the laborers union. And it's the same message I took when I went down to Columbus as a state rep in 2005. It's the same fight I'm fighting now as your state senator it's, it's the same fight I'm, and the message I'm sharing with everyone all throughout Ohio as the Senate minority leader right now and what I right right now what I need more than anything is partnership from people like Billy Sharp who's gonna go out there and share that message because he understands without a doubt that everybody is entitled to a better quality of life than what the state of Ohio is currently giving them and we've got the capabilities we've got the means we've got the dollars actually believe it or not but it's just not getting put in the right areas Billy Sharp helped me make that happen so, so that's the biggest challenge, appropriating funds and everything to go in the right places. Absolutely. So you say Billy Sharp is the man for that. Billy Sharp, he's, he's not afraid to speak up, and he understands firsthand from where he lived, where he grew up, people he, he's very comfortable with and, and sharing their stories with him. So he can, knows that he can take those stories and that insight and bring it down to Columbus and share it with our colleagues down in Columbus, because not everybody lives in, in Northeast Ohio. Right. And there's a big difference between, you know, Appalachia, Ohio, and rural Ohio, and then small towns and villages all throughout Ohio. We need someone who has that ability to communicate, and Billy has that ability. Well, you've been down this path. What kind of advice could you give Billy? Be true to yourself. You don't, you don't have to be fake. You, don't, you know, there's so many fake politicians already out there. Be true to yourself. Be the person that you are. Be the person that you're very comfortable with. I can tell by the way Billy acts. He was raised properly. But that's why I'm honored to endorse Billy Sharp to be our next state representative. So you're behind Think him, you're I'm, being, him. I'm, I'm, and you know what? We, this is a race that's going to draw a lot of candidates, a lot of very, very good candidates. Makes me very, very proud to be a Democrat. Yes. But with that being said, I think that Billy Sharp has the capabilities. He's come out strong, hard, fast. He's paid his dues. He's done the work. He's done all his due diligence. He knows what it takes to move the state of Ohio forward. And I think he's the guy to do it. And that's why I've endorsed him. How have you come to endorse Billy Sharp for, for Ohio State Representative? I met Billy some time ago because I do a lot of voter registration. And he was over the uh, young Dems. And every time I see him, I tell him, the young Dems have to do something worthwhile. You can't just have meetings. You have to have them registering people Coming or doing you, something. That's a lot of weight. Yeah. And like most young politicians that I run across, he didn't pay much attention at first until they find out about my background. <laughs> then when they yeah. find out I've been there almost 60 years, yeah. I know what I'm talking about, right. then they start listening. Yeah. But watching him and watching how hard he works, how prepared he is, even though he was overprepared sometimes with his photographer following him. <laughs> and then what really made me know that he was going to be successful was at the uh, Labor Day picnic. What was what happened there? Billy the Billy had more people in the parade than some of the elected officials. It took preparation, you know, it took foresight. So I know he's going to do that as he goes to State House District 10. I'm right here with Mr. Billy Sharp, the man of the hour. He's running for Ohio State Representative for District 10. How you doing, Billy? 
I'm doing all right. Man, you got a lot of great support. A lot of people are very confident in your abilities, man. People like Miss Marks, Cindy Marks, you know, you know, Miss Jane Sheets. Yeah. You know, she had a lot of support for you. Great people. What do you say to that? I think um, I love the support. These are people that actually I've worked with over the years. Um, different programs, Jane Sheets getting people out to vote. I mean, her position, historic first uh, African-American woman to head up a uh, board of elections. I mean, the support is tremendous. Well, well, Miss CC brought up the fact there was an event and you were there, you were present and you brought a lot of constituency with you. Mm -hmm. And she knew she had a lot of, she gained a lot of confidence in your ability then, right then. So that tells us a lot. What do you hope to bring to the table once you're elected into office? The, the human factor, which I think is I think is missing, the fact that there are everyday people out there struggling. We started off today feeding uh, 400 families. We, we gave away over 2,000 meals. That's how I started the day out. Those are the people that I'm fighting for every single day. Well, there's been people before you that had, had those same aspirations, but then they met challenges when they got in office. What's going to keep you focused on your goals? Those, those very same people. I was telling the story. I was telling the story about how a lady came into our food bank and she was dangling a set of keys. And we looked at each other and was wondering why was she dangling a set of keys. And so I asked her. I said, well, "What? You know, why are you dangling the two keys?" And she said, "The keys that I have. I was homeless a week ago, and these keys are the keys to my first apartment." And the food that y'all gonna give me today is the very first food that will go in that refrigerator. Those are the people that I'm fighting for. The everyday people. Everyday people. What kind of advice have you been getting from your constituents, from people that you look up to? You know, what, what, what that has stuck with you thus far? It's, it's look out for them. Don't forget about us. <laughs> it's, 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 and that's what they, they mean it, because their thing is tongue in cheek. You know, how am I going to eat? How am I getting my kids to school? How am I getting gas for the car? The everyday basic things. I think many times politicians come with this high-minded conversation, and our people are down here. They are really, really the basic everyday things. And those are the things that we got to kind of, we got to start to stabilize. So then we can talk about African-American business only, wealth building, all of that stuff. But our people right now are not even a frame of mind that they can think about. They not even a frame of mind about voting for Billy Sharp because they worried about the everyday issues. My lights going to be on. How am I getting here and there? We got to concentrate on them because that's what this is about. Well, in your mind right now, as it stands, your first couple of months in office, what's your main priority? My main priority is to go down there and shake it up. To, to get Columbus to start thinking about everyday people. Obviously, I'm going to learn the process. I've never been a state representative before, so i got to learn the process. But I'm carrying those people. I'm carrying my mother with me every day who didn't graduate from high school but wanted to be a seamstress. I'm carrying her with me every day. The lady from the food bank, the people I see we give toys to, those are the people I'm carrying to Columbus, and I'm making sure that they looked out for. That's my priority.